A St. Charles County School District is taking issue with a student's sweatshirt. It centers on the two words that are printed across the front of it, and the teen says they're taking it the wrong way. Kim St. Ange has the story you'll only see on News 4 tonight. Kim? I actually want to show you this sweatshirt he was wearing. So this is exactly what it said on it, Virginity Rocks. He was wearing it at Wentzville Middle School. On Monday, he says his teacher pulled him out of class and actually walked with him to the principal's office. It was there at the principal's office where he was told to either take it off, flip it inside out, or the school would have to take action. 13-year-old London Piglowski agreed to take off the sweatshirt, though his mom says the district threatened to suspend him if he wore it again. Whenever they told me to take it off, I was like, wait, why am I taking this off? because it's like a positive message. He got the sweatshirt from his friend Davis as a birthday gift, who says it was an instant hit with classmates. They like it. Like, yeah, kids were, kids were asking me if I could buy them one. Davis got the idea from this guy, Danny Duncan. All right, today the triplets have 10 minutes to pick out whatever they want. Dude, isn't it weird how money can just change someone's mind on the YouTuber has over 3 yeah, million sure. subscribers I mean, I and sells Virginity Rocks clothes on his website. It says virginity rocks. Now nah, I got in trouble for it at school. Students from across the country are posting online that they've also gotten in trouble for sporting the message. I think this is absurd. I really do. London's dad, Todd. It's a message. It's not like it's profanity. Believes Wentzville Middle School is taking things too far. No sex. So isn't that what these schools are trying to, you know, educate these kids and, you know, of not doing? The Wentzville School District's dress code says students are not allowed to wear clothing with statements advocating immoral, illegal, sexual, or violent behavior, as well as clothing that shows their stomach, back, and butt. Girls always wear like sh shorts that you can like s see their butt, or like shirts like showing like all their stomach. But teachers don't yell at them for that, so why can't we wear these? The Wentzville School District sent us this saying the district's policy regarding student dress provides opportunities for our administrators to address student attire that is potentially disruptive to the educational environment. The district also says it regularly talks to students about clothes that they may think are inappropriate and also tells me tonight they never threatened to suspend London. Steve. All right, Kim St. Ange reporting for us in studio.